Hamas is defending itself, but how is it able to stand against the weapons the U.S. provided? Have they also been provided with support from some nations? After Hama defended itself and stood against the U.S. military, the U.S. was concerned about some secret help being provided to Hamas. They think there is someone who is controlling everything and is fooling the U.S. So is there someone? Or is this just another example of the U.S. being paranoid about China? Let's find out. Welcome back to another exciting episode of our channel. Innovation Diary brings you China's innovation stories, projects, and growing influence in different parts of the world. If you're new to the channel and enjoy learning about fast-paced modernity, especially China's development and growing power, you will find our videos intriguing. In this video, we will discuss how Hamas can still defend itself. We will also talk about any nations that are behind this. Watch the video till the very end to know if the Israel-Hamas war is reaching its heights. Let's get started. On December 13, 2023, the conflict between Israel and Hamas took a devastating turn when an ambush by Hamas in the Gaza City suburb of Shahaya resulted in the loss of nine Israeli soldiers, including two senior commanders. This incident marked the highest daily casualties for Israel since the commencement of its ground invasion, highlighting the persistent and formidable resistance presented by Hamas throughout the ongoing conflict. Beyond the immediate military implications, the Israel-Hamas war has far-reaching consequences on regional relations and the diplomatic landscape, with ripple effects affecting various countries in the Middle East. The ambush carried out by Hamas on December 13 was a strategically significant event that unfolded in the Gaza City suburb of Shajaya. The attack resulted in the tragic loss of nine Israeli soldiers, including two high-ranking commanders. The targeted ambush highlighted the adept tactics employed by Hamas, showcasing their ability to confront and challenge the Israeli military. The fact that this incident resulted in the highest daily casualties for Israel since the initiation of its ground invasion speaks volumes about the intensity and protracted nature of the conflict. But how was Hamas able to fight back when it was already weak? The recent ambush in Shijaya has once again brought the enduring and resilient nature of Hamas to the forefront challenging preconceived notions about the Israel-Hamas conflict. In the face of Israel's military actions, Hamas has showcased its ability to adapt and strike effectively, emphasizing the complexity of the situation and debunking any hopes for a swift resolution. The Shajaya ambush serves as a stark reminder that Israel's military might not easily deter Hamas. Instead, it has proven its capacity to adapt its strategies, making it a formidable adversary. This adaptability has allowed Hamas to continue posing a significant challenge to Israel's security, defying expectations that the conflict could be resolved swiftly. Traditionally, the Israel-Hamas conflict has been framed as a one-sided affair, with Israel possessing superior military capabilities. However, the Shajaya ambush and similar incidents highlight the fallacy of such a narrative. Hamas has demonstrated that it can inflict meaningful damage and disrupt Israel's security, challenging the perception that Israel holds an insurmountable advantage but this was done to defend itself. Hamas has been facing brutality for a very long time. But according to the West, Hamas's resilience poses a significant obstacle to any hopes of a quick resolution. So Hamas' actions make the situation worse, but according to the West, the U.S.'s involvement does not do it. But before we address who is an obstacle to peace, let's first address what impact this would have. Beyond the immediate military ramifications, the Israel-Hamas war has broader implications for regional relations and the diplomatic landscape in the Middle East. The conflict has strained relations between Israel and several countries in the region, with geopolitical alliances and animosities being reshaped. The loss of Israeli soldiers in the ambush adds urgency to the need for a diplomatic resolution to prevent further destabilization in the region. The international community has expressed increasing concern about the escalation of the Israel-Hamas conflict and its potential to destabilize the broader Middle East. Diplomatic efforts to mediate a ceasefire and promote dialogue have faced challenges, and the recent ambush has added a sense of urgency to find a resolution. The loss of senior commanders in the Israeli Defense Forces further complicates the diplomatic landscape, as it raises questions about the direction and strategy of Israel's military operations. Before we continue further, tell us, are you enjoying the video? If yes, please like and share the video, and subscribe to our channel for more videos about China's development, power, and influence on the world. Let's continue now. Media plays a crucial role in influencing public opinion in the landscape of conflicts. 
A striking example of this is the ongoing conflict between Hamas and Israel. The media's portrayal of defensive actions is not uniform, often shaped by geopolitical alliances and power dynamics. Currently, when Hamas defends itself, it is frequently labeled as terrorism. This characterization raises questions about the fairness and impartiality of media coverage. On the other hand, when the United States granted Israel the right to defend itself, the move was applauded as the right decision. The power asymmetry between the two parties is noteworthy, with Israel boasting a formidable military strength largely attributed to the support it receives from the United States. One key aspect that often gets overshadowed is the disparity in military resources. Israel receives substantial support, including weapons, from the U.S., strengthening its defense capabilities. In contrast, Hamas is devoid of such backing, yet it persists in defending itself against threats to its existence. The media's tendency to label Hamas as a terrorist organization solely for defending itself raises concerns about objectivity. The narrative framing seems to be influenced by the power dynamics at play. While acknowledging Israel's right to defend itself, a fine perspective is crucial to understanding the root causes and intricacies of the conflict. Now let's come back to our question of the real reason behind putting obstacles in the road of peacemaking. Recent developments suggest that the United States, often viewed as a mediator in global conflicts, is playing a controversial role in the Israel-Hamas war. Contrary to public perception, the United States, under President Biden and the Biden administration, appears to be supporting the extension of the conflict between Israel and Hamas. Instead of advocating for a swift resolution to save civilian lives, the U.S. focus is reportedly on ensuring Israel's victory, favoring a more assertive approach that specifically targets Hamas. President Biden's administration favors a continued military engagement rather than pursuing diplomatic avenues to bring peace. This shift in strategy raises questions about the U.S.'s role as a peace broker and the motivations behind its stance. The primary contention revolves around the U.S. preference for a more targeted strategy, specifically aimed at dismantling Hamas. While the rationale behind neutralizing a perceived threat is understandable, critics argue that this approach may exacerbate the conflict and lead to more civilian casualties. The emphasis on Israel's victory over diplomatic resolution further complicates the situation. Despite assertions by some that the U.S. does not seek to prolong the Israel-Hamas war, experts provide a different perspective. According to these analysts, the United States is actively pushing for an extension of the conflict. This perspective challenges the official narrative and prompts a closer examination of the geopolitical interests at play. To comprehend the motivations behind the U.S. stance, it is essential to consider the geopolitical landscape. The Middle East has long been strategically important for global powers, and alliances often shift in response to evolving circumstances. The United States' unequivocal support for Israel and its willingness to prolong the conflict is influenced by its willingness to cause instability in the Middle East. One of the most significant criticisms against the U.S. position is its apparent disregard for civilian lives. While the official stance may be framed as supporting Israel's right to defend itself, the emphasis on military victory over diplomatic solutions raises concerns about the prioritization of humanitarian considerations. The U.S. stance on the Israel-Hamas conflict has not gone unnoticed on the international stage. Allies and adversaries are closely monitoring the developments and assessing the implications of the U.S. approach. The international community's response, both in terms of diplomatic reactions and public opinion, will likely shape the trajectory of the conflict. As the Israel-Hamas conflict continues, it is imperative to reevaluate the role of the United States in mediating the dispute. A fine and transparent approach that prioritizes diplomatic solutions and safeguards civilian lives should be at the forefront of any genuine peacemaking efforts. The international community, including the United States, must strive for a balanced and just resolution that addresses the root causes of the conflict and promotes long-term stability in the region. And to find a solution, the U.S. needs China's help. It has to pick the two-state, two-state solution China gave to end the conflict. We would like to take a moment here and appreciate you all for commenting and sharing your opinions. Your insights always impress us. Do you think the U.S. should play a part in peacemaking? What would happen if the Israel-Hamas war is not solved? Why do you think the U.S. does not want to solve it? Let us know in the comments section if you think not solving this conflict makes the U.S. lose its position as a leader. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing and growing its influence over the world. Until the next video, stay tuned.